So today we're going to look at how you can add and edit tables in the WordPress block editor for your pages and posts. So I've got this little sample page open here and it's a pretty straightforward sort of setup. Now, if I want to add a table, I can simply hit the plus button here or up here, wherever the plus button shows up and I can type in table and receive the table. Now this here is actually from a plugin, so you can ignore that, but we're just looking for a straight table. And it starts off with some options. So we can say how many columns and rows, columns being vertical. So let's say we go four columns. Maybe we've got 10 rows of information. So click create table and we have our initial table. So the idea is we can now start putting in information and format the table to look the way we want. Now, before I start, if I type in some information, I'm just gonna type in info. And if I decide while I have this table selected, I want a header section, it'll actually add in headers. So I wanted to do that to demonstrate that if you actually wanted to create a header, you need to hit the header section first before you actually type in the header info. So if you wanna add in a header and a footer to the table, we can say something like ID, maybe then for a description. So maybe we're talking about some kind of, um, just like some kind of information, some kind of module or some kind of document and we can just say pages, so number of pages in this document, and maybe date created or something like that. It doesn't really matter what info we put in here, this is just the basics. So the ID might be 003, the description might be just generic, and maybe it's 15 pages and it was created on the 12th, or something like that. It's gonna zoom out a little bit. So we have our table here, and what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna very quickly go in and just add in more information and just sort of cut ahead. Okay, so I've copied, I've basically entered a bunch of information in this table as I did with the first row, so we can continue to move forward there. So now to start things off, we're going to look at making basic sort of like uh, sort of basic styling on the table. And you can see here, first of all, now as with all WordPress modules, you get a little box at the top that sort of allows you to make some smaller changes on the table or module you're working on and information on the right under block page gives you page properties, block gives you the table block properties. So you can see here, the ID is pretty thin, the description's wide, and these columns here are reasonably thin. It's automatically determined the width based on the amount of information in the table. If I don't want that, I can go over here to fixed width table cells and just simply make them even. But uh, in this case, I don't think it works out well, so I'll keep it turned off. We also have default styles as default, which is just a standard table or stripes which sort of gives you a much more sort of cleaner, minimalistic look, but gives you some shading to, to differentiate between each row. So you can work between those two, but you can also change things like colors. So the text, I can make it gray if I want to, I'll stick with black in this instance, which is actually darker than before. The background, I can choose a dark blue, but notice how the gray still appears here. So you actually don't, you can also choose a gradient as well if you want to, but the gray tends to stay in where it is. But for the sake of getting a nice effect, we'll stick with this gradient, but we're gonna make this color here. So we can add in here, we can add in another color. I can change the direction of the gradient. Now, for some reason, I'm having trouble adding in a color on this, so I'm gonna zoom out for a second. There we go, I can add in a color that way. A little bit buggy, but I can make it really dark, which I don't wanna do, but I'm gonna click back in here and choose a different color. Maybe I'll make it really white. Now just be careful when you're using this because it is sort of a little bit touchy. I can darken this color. So you gotta get the, the click right, it's a little bit funny. So I've got this funny angle and this cool effect with the gradient. So I'm gonna keep that just for the sake of the video, but I can choose a radial, um, which is a circular gradient as well, but I think the linear looks better in this instance. So on my table, I've, got, I've chosen, chosen my text background. I can also choose the size of the text as well, make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to click here and just actually click here and reset all. Now, another thing too is if you go into here, you can also change things like the letter case. So I can make it all uppercase like this or all lowercase uh, or sentence case. So you do have control over the case, which is pretty cool. It's just a CSS style that they're activating. And obviously we've got appearance here. So how it looks, so we can say, how thick it is, it can all be extra bold, it can all be semi bold. And so you've got all these different little text options as well. And then letter spacing as well, if you want to say make it negative one, you can really get those letters close together if that's the look you like. And if you know any CSS, you can actually add in some 
identifiers here if you do want to add some CSS code, if that's something you're into there. But otherwise, we've got our table styled and we've got some information here. But here you'll notice this is in bold and the footer isn't. I can highlight these areas here, click bold. I can also just hit control B if I want to. And that way I can get some more control over the text itself. And like anything else, I can highlight text and do things like make it italics, bold, add a link. Uh, if I want to add a link to a page on the website, some contact, just type in that, bring up contact. Uh, so I can add in links and things like that. So I'll actually just leave this and say how the system, so how the system will be a link just for the sake of the video again. And then of course you've got all the other things such as if I want this to be, uh, so I want this maximum width table. So it goes to the maximum width of the space or I can just have it be, I can have it be full width as well. We're gonna leave it, so I can line it to the left of the page or to the right. So depending on how much space you have on your page, you can change the alignment of the table. Let's stick with full width for now. And I can align the text center down description if I want to. So you've got your left and right align, all your usual bits and pieces and other areas where I can say, add a strike through or add an inline image in here if I want to. So I've got all of those options. But the other thing you probably wanna go know the most is this little section here where it says edit table. I can insert and delete areas. So let's say I wanted to add in a row between these two. I'm actually gonna go back to wide. It's a bit easier to see. So if I click on say this second row and I wanna add it above, I can click on table and insert row before. If I wanted it to be after, obviously I would insert the row after. So I can insert this row before and add in another one. So maybe I say 002 and I just say another document. So I've got another row here, it's 78 pages and the date was maybe it's unknown for whatever reason. So I can do that pretty easily. And of course, on top of that, if I want to add things around, I can also take, say, this one here, examples, or maybe more information on the lead system, which is just some generic text, and I can delete that row. And the same works again for columns. So if I want to say, click on this description here, I can go to add a column before that or after, so I'll add one after, and maybe in this instance, I will say, you know, reviewed, and maybe then you can add a little yes, no, yes yes type scenario so that way you can actually add in information to the table as well so you can add subtract rows and columns and that pretty easily once again if i click on reviewed i can delete that column so we've got our table put together now so we're going to actually preview this on desktop and see how it looks so you can see here this is our table it's looking we've got a nice thick line for the header and the footer keeping in mind we can turn these off where we turned them on earlier but that's pretty much how we can create and edit our table it's pretty easy to do the wordpress block editor makes it nice and simple but there is one weakness and that is i don't believe this has any method of sorting for mobile so if i switch to this mobile view even if i decide i want to zoom in a little bit which actually i can't seem to do at the moment but if i shrink this or if i bring this up so you can see as the table the table will shrink to a degree but when you get here, it really crams that information in and at some point starts to cut off information. And we uh, we get this little slider here, which is, uh, it's, it's not bad, but not really ideal, but it is there if you, in case you need that, but you may be fine without that. But um, it's just something to be aware of when you're using the table editor for in the WordPress block editor. But I do have a video I'll pop up on the screen soon for it's me exploring the WP Table Builder. It allows you to create uh, tables with a responsive nature and a lot more options. Very long video as it was a bit of a test and not really a review as this one, but check that out if you want to. Otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a great day.